Singapore is doubling down on efforts to grow its manufacturing, trade and services sectors. Trade and Industry Minister Gang Kim Yong shared his 2030 vision for the economy in which local enterprises will play a key role in helping Singapore secure its status as a global business hub. Now, building on its first pillar of manufacturing, the government will launch a careers training program and develop an employer handbook that's to help develop, attract more locals to the sector and grow a core of homegrown manufacturers. We launched Manufacturing 2030 last year with the aim of increasing manufacturing value add by 50% in 10 years. We have already made good progress. Last year, the sector grew very significantly by 13.2% and received $8.5 billion in total fixed asset investment, creating over 6,000 jobs when these projects are completed. Singapore will also embark on its Trade 2030 strategy. It aims to grow its exports to at least $1 trillion and double its offshore trade to $2 trillion US dollars by 2030. Growing our trading volume will create good jobs for our people. To take on the many attractive opportunities that will emerge from the continued growth of this sector, we must build a workforce with skills and knowledge that will be needed. One firm that has benefited from Singapore's trade programs is local seafood trader Fish International Sourcing House, or FISH. The company now has a presence in more than 90 markets, it plans to partner other Singapore firms and help them break into new markets. Sustainability and digitalization are major opportunities for the services sector, which represents 70% of Singapore's economy. Companies will get funding to help them deepen capabilities in areas such as cybersecurity and data analytics. Now, Singapore will also identify and support the growth of high potential local firms. This includes helping them attract and retain talent and get easier access to funding. 